What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I thought I would give you guys some of my fifth inning predictions for who could be in the fifth inning program. The program currently is winding up here in three days and 15 hours. This Friday, we're going to have a new program. I'm sure they're going to leak some clues out on Twitter. Uh, if you guys are not aware, we will be getting a new Casey Mize. We will be getting a new Gary Carter very, very soon. Uh, they'll be in the game tomorrow as BR rewards. I feel like we're going to get maybe one more card that they're going to reveal tomorrow that we don't know what that is yet. They like to do those clues uh, to get people uh, engaged over on social media. So we'll probably see something like that. But uh, I think a lot of people, a lot of people ask me this question a lot, and, uh, who, who I think is going to be in the next uh, program. So I thought uh, we take a look at who it could possibly be, uh, what kind of patterns that I have been noticing in regards to cards that they have released and to take a better look at that we're actually going to go hop on mlb the show 19 so i'll see you guys once we get over on that game okay so our criteria for this year's game of basically the the pattern well two things two things let's talk about two things first of all number one uh we do have a new legend coming into the game so that'll be somebody that we can't find in MLB The Show 19. We do have a new legend coming in the game. I have a pretty good guess about that of who is going to be. So I'll give you that in this video. Uh, the other thing is, too, one thing I've really noticed about the cards that they've been putting in the programs this year is they're putting in to the programs a lot of cards that were difficult to obtain in MLB The Show 19, and they've moved them over to making them easier to get in MLB The Show 20. Take, for example, um, we'll get more into this. Take, for example, uh, Felix Hernandez. Uh, Felix Hernandez was a BR reward last year. Moved him into the program this year to make him easier for people to get. It's also very weird for me to look up in the top right, right hand corner of the screen and see myself with the top 50 banner. I like, got at the very end of the life cycle of this game. Uh, I don't. I, I've been so far from being a top 50 player this year. It's crazy, but yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the potential cards that we could get. Now, keep in mind, we are just getting a new pitcher and a new catcher with Gary Carter. And um, we're also getting that new Casey Mize. So I don't anticipate us getting uh, maybe a pitcher or a catcher. Uh, there's usually one pitcher per program, though. I just don't think that we're going to get uh, a catcher this time around. Uh, we did get the Chipper Jones early. I don't see them dropping another Chipper Jones uh, anytime soon. This was the 99 Chipper Jones from last year. We obviously have that uh, one that, what is he, like a 96 prestige. So I don't see him uh, being available in the game. The 96 prestige is maybe better than this card, honestly. Uh, when just because it, I'm no, he only has like 91, 91 on one side, but he does have a like massive power versus lefties. Uh, this card, I think a lot of people, um, I don't know if we're ready for this card yet. As uh, you don't want to, one of the the key balancing acts is putting in cards slowly over time that are amazing, so that you don't put in too many amazing cards too early, and then you put in cards that aren't as good that people aren't gonna want after. Now, this program was Honus Wagner from last year. Uh, he was basically a, a second, if you want to call it like a live series collection, that's not exactly correct by any stretch of the imagination. It was more a collection that, um, you know, accumulated from a lot of different cards, but it was kind of like a second live series collection. So I'll go show you what I mean uh, by that. So I don't know if he will be that card. I could see that card being Willie Mays this year. So let's go to the the collections. Uh, basically, you said to start completing these to get Wagner. I, let's see. I, if I so basically, you're gonna collect. You know, we have like these different things, like you know, postseason, and we have these different things like hardware and uh, veteran and all this kind of stuff. You guys remember that from this year's game as well. Eventually, these went up to collecting a ton of these. Uh, I can't remember if they came in the game later or what, but eventually they added up to get that Wagner. So I don't know if that's a that that when you think about it, 
is actually very extremely difficult to do but we did just get a 90 like a 90 overall version of this card uh you know this one was uh one of the best short stops of all time uh just in game when you use them because of the 96 speed he was like one of the best fielding short stops for whatever reason i've ever used since playing this game as well he just felt really nice in the field don't think that we'll get him now rogers hornsby uh he was a world series reward last year this is the nl collection reward from last year 125 94 99 125 vision the fielding wasn't very good the speed wasn't very good it was on a lot of people's bench and then tell towards the end of the year he moved back into people's uh you know he moved into the second base spot um this is a card that i could see possibly being in it this is a card that i personally really really want i'm personally really looking forward to and that's a jimmy fox card 123 125 114 113 111 vision has silver fielding and 71 speed can play third can play first um this would be a first baseman i'll be on the look for because his swing is amazing it's like one of the glitchiest swings possible and also um i think everybody's hoping that he gets a secondary of catcher uh because there is a lower tier version of jimmy fox in this game like a 90 ish 91 92 ish uh card it might even be higher than that it doesn't matter the point is it's a lower jimmy fox card and it did have the catcher but it didn't have anywhere close to these hitting stats but I think if they did put in, I hope when they put in this boost of hitting Jimmy Fox card this year, that he gets the hitting stats and the catcher. So I don't know if he'll be in this, but it would be one of those cards that I'm really, really looking forward to. I still feel like it's too early for them to add the babe, you know, 125, 125, 125, 111. Uh, would I like him to be in it? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. But I feel like it's just a little bit too early. Maybe sometime in July. Maybe sometime in August. Especially, I could even see him doing the 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 main big collection that they did for Wagner for Ruth. It's like that kind of seems possible for them to do um, as well because it's such a good hitting card. You don't. I mean, he only has a silver defense, but the hitting's so ridiculous. He's got to be in your lineup. Uh, he just has to be. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a little bit too early. I could see it around like August time. MLB the show has this pattern of dropping a lot of stuff right when Madden comes out because they like, I, it's like, you wouldn't think they're competing, but it's almost like, oh, Madden's coming out. So we're going to drop a lot of content. And so it's kind I think it's kind of been their strategy low key. Babe Ruth, I believe was a world series reward last year as well. So that's a potential that could be in the program. I, I just feel like that's flipping a lot. I feel like a lot of the cards that were very difficult to get that people didn't get to use last year are going to be more in programs this year and cards that were in programs last year, they're flipping them. So people get to get the experience of using them because pretty much everybody can go through the program. Uh, Willie Mays, will he possibly be in the program? Will he possibly be a card that is, you know, one of those uh, cards that becomes, um, you know, something that you get out of the, the, the Honus Wagner, we'll just call it like, you know, we'll call it the second collection. You know, 114, 117, 106, 118, just for electric, electric car, 116 vision, 98 feeling, 95 arm strength, 92 speed. If they caught, I just feel like it's very difficult. What I've noticed too is they usually downgrade cards over time because uh, they want like Mickey Mantle's card to be the best card in the game. Uh, they want that collection reward to be the best card. Uh, that's just kind of how things go. They don't. They rarely make a five-tool player like this to give you incentives to complete the collection. But if even if he gets knocked down a little bit, I'm, I'm looking forward to having Willie Mays in my uh, outfield at some point in time. Uh, we're not getting an outfielder uh, in the. Uh, we're not, we're getting a catcher and a starting pitcher, but who knows if we're gonna get. Uh, an outfielder um I, that is to say we're not getting an outfielder in those two cards maybe we'll get an outfielder tomorrow it could change by tomorrow with that or maybe we'll get an infielder but i'm really looking forward to willie mays he would be dope to have in this 99 uh overall program just so more people could get to use his card make him free um make him so um if you want to sell him it's going to sell for a lot um, or I think it's a card uh, worth keeping. We obviously got that new Cody Bellinger. This was one of the best cards of all time. I just wanted to bring this card up because look how nicely this the finest cards we're getting. I think at the time of this uh, video, we're also uh, going to get baseball back. Um, as far as I could see the players signing off on whatever it is, so we get baseball back. So hopefully we get some uh, 
finest cards this year because the finest cards are insane. I don't see this being a part of the program. I just wanted to bring it up how good this card like really was. I'm glad that we have the other Cody um, this year. I've always kind of wondered if we'd ever get like a a Christian Yelich type of card. Um, this was his finest card, the 125, 125. You guys can see like towards the end of the game, they really put out some boosts and stuff to like, I don't know, just some boosts and stuff. Uh, Teddy ball game, I could definitely see being a part of this 99, just getting people hyped. 125, 123, 123, 100, uh, 70 fielding, 56 speed. It's kind of the poor man's babe uh, is always going to be your pinch hitter versus right like later on in the year uh, has a pretty decent swing. Um, Teddy ball game has always been my, one of my favorite, my favorite cards to have in the game. I could, could you guys see him being in a June program for 99s? I kind of feel like he might be in it. Uh, trout usually gets released. The signature trout usually gets released later on. It's just like a trout with insane speed. That's the number one thing that he has. Um, it's weird looking back at this game too and seeing like 86 vision and feeling like that's nothing when in MLB the show 20 is like a ton. Uh has a diamond fielding, only one eighty eighty one arm strength. He's like it's weird. It's like his arms gotten better over time. I don't know. It's it's just it's a weird thing. I think he's been working on it, but they usually wait for this card to drop. Um you know the immortal Mark Mike Trout, this one as well. They usually wait for a while to drop this card. Uh just because they want to keep that live series collection. Uh, trout viable and expensive and stuff like that and once most people have like gotten to the point you know I, I don't see this card dropping in this program probably not till like this is like a usually like an august or september type of card that they put this one out again bregman not relevant just for fun uh look at that 125 125 versus left with 124 vision so this is a stack card um i like that card I do feel like Frank Thomas could be possible in the 99 program. 111, 125, 107, 125, 108 vision. He doesn't have good fielding. I hit I hit over 204 home runs with this card last year. Uh so he was uh he was a beast. He's got a great swing. Uh he's just like he he doesn't play great defense. He really doesn't. I know a lot of people will say like, "Oh man, Frank plays amazing defense for a common." It's just you just notice it, I feel like cuz he's a common. And also at 6'5", you're a huge target to snag line drives and stuff like that. But he doesn't play like diamond defense. I, I just, I, I've never really bought into that. But the hitting's ridiculous. The 125, 125 versus left's ridiculous. So he would be uh, someone you got. He's kind of like uh, an Eric Thames type of card as far as like just an amazing, amazing hitter. To me, he's a much better hitter than Eric Thames is though. Uh, it, I, I get a lot more use out of a guy like this that has the contact versus left and the power versus left. Uh, that's a right hand hitter off the bench type of deal too. So Frank was really beast, but let's get into some of the pitchers that I'd like to see. Uh, these two pitchers, I would definitely like to see uh, Chris sale. Uh, very, very, let me go show you guys in him in the market. First of all, um, Chris sale, where is he? He was going for like a million at the end of the game. Um, he was a BR reward. So not a lot of people got to use him. Uh, 114 stamina, 100, 117 K per nine, the four seam of slider to the circle. I really liked pitching with him. I, I, not every single comp player in the world likes to use Chris Sale because he only has the four seam of the slider to the circle. Um, there's no like sinker, there's no cutter or anything like that. I just loved using his motion. He's pretty deceptive and difficult to pick up. Um, I've been I've, I've been pitching with him for years. One of my favorite pitchers to use. This is a card I could definitely see being in the program. Maybe if it's not this time in one of the future ones, because it was so difficult to get his card last year. One of the most expensive cards in Diamond Dynasty last year was Chris Sale. So I could see him uh, being in it. And then to continue with that same program, that same pattern, this was the Corey Kluber from last year. This Clayton Kershaw, 114, 107, 113. It was in the XP reward path. People got him really, really quickly. Had that sinker, had like basically four pitch or five pitches that were all solid. 99 break, 90 velo. I feel like this will probably be like a World Series reward or a BR reward at some point. I feel like this is the card that gets flip flopped this year because this card would have gone for tons on the market. And uh, as much as I would, I would love for it to be in a program, I feel like they're not going to put it in the program this year. Does that make sense? I feel like they're going to put that out as a World Series reward, as a BR reward. That's just my opinion, but I would love this card to be in the program if it was in it. 
This is another card we really haven't talked too much about, or I haven't seen a lot about lately, and that's Adam Wainwright with the sw the sinker, the curveball, the cutter, the four seam, and the changeup. Um, he would be a cool 99 card. Maybe just gets a little boost. Got it. Has a cool motion. Has cool pitches. Uh, I believe this is like Twin Gaming TV's uh, one of his cards from last year. I think uh, it'd be nice to see him as a 99 boosted up. Um, Really cool card. Love the Adam Wayne, right? I just don't know if they can boost them up high enough to get them to a 99. Uh, we got the Garrett Cole from last year. Maybe they could do a Cy Young Garrett Cole card. They already have a really high live series Garrett Cole card. It's the thing that goes for a lot. I don't know if they want to. I don't think Cody B went down too much in price, so I don't know if Garrett Cole would either. A lot of those cards, people asking, when are those cards coming down in price? I don't see it coming down in price until... You know, probably like August. So if you want to do the collections, I'd just go after it now. So you, at least you get them for a couple months. You know, I, if you want to wait till August, you know, that's fine. But you're, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to play the game. If you're somebody that's going to play the game until February, just get them as quickly as possible. You know, that's, that's, that's the way I look at it. Like I said, uh, to me, and everyone has their own route of what they want to do with Diamond Dynasty. But to me, I want to complete the collections first that is the point of diamond dynasty to me but i don't know i don't think we'll see a garrett cole um kenley jansen 99 overall with the cutter the slider the sinker the change up since he's moved to a gold card it's like we don't see or talk about kenley anymore he used to be like one of the premier uh closers uh some people might even have him the best in last year's game 121 125 uh 99 velo 99 break nasty 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 relief pitcher out of the bullpen i could see him being a part of the next program doesn't it kind of feel like it's time for kenley jansen to be a part of the program i could definitely see this card being a part of the fifth inning program uh josh Hader, just i don't know damn this card had 37 stamina too 125s across the board uh he had the slider and the changeup. Uh, Sergio Romo only a 93. This card was lit though. Um, I can't remember if this is a BR card or what. This card shot up in price. I remember at one point it was like 30k and then went up to like over 100k as like a lot of the comp players are using him because he's got the sinker, he's got the slider, the sinker, the change up in the cutter. Uh, so he was always a uh, real nice to use. Gagne, we have that higher Gagne. This, I mean, the, this Gagne used to be a lot better than the one we got now. Uh, the one we got now is. A lot less this guy and went for tons we got the billy wagner 122 125 uh the billy wagner we have now is a little bit less than this but it's not too much different this one does have a change up this one also has 30 salmon i don't think the other one does uh this one has a little bit more control i don't see that card uh being put in this was a conquest extreme card we just got a 90 overall rich gossage so i don't see him being a part of this 124 125 41 stamina this card and the Miller card were really difficult to obtain. You had to get them through Conquest Extreme or Ex Moments Extreme. I, the details don't really matter now, except for it was a really difficult way. We still had that high Andrew Miller card at 91 too. This card was way, way better though than that one. After using that other one for a long time, this one was way better. Just he had way more control, it felt like, uh, than the other one did. Uh, just felt like that. And this gossage was pretty pretty nasty so you guys can see the bullpen eventually will get uh pretty uh pretty nice the card i would love to see that would make oh man i would be so we just never ever have gotten like a 99 overall oral hershizer i i really would love to see him in the program 114 has the sinker in the cut to the curve while the change up great motion uh love to see him at a 99 i don't know if he ever put the stats up to get to a 99 I don't know about that. I'm sure you guys in the comment section will know about that better than me, but I would love to see Oral Hershizer. Uh, and so let's uh, let's go look at a couple more people in the market that were like World Series rewards that were difficult to get uh, that could possibly uh, be in the program. Well, I'm going to take a look at that card. Uh, so our, our Posey this year is like better than this one. He has a lot more power versus left. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Lou Gehrig, I don't know if this is the time for him, but it could be the time for him. I believe he was a program reward last year, so maybe he'll be a World Series reward uh, this year. This also kind of feels like the time for like a Robin Yao. I don't know. This is like oh, it's like the middle of the summer. They always seem to give us a Robin Yao. I never really see anybody use him. Not that bad, but it's just like you never really see anybody uh, using him. Uh, 
Robbie Almar, we still have the 91. This is one of the best cards uh, in the game last year because he's pretty much five tool. Doesn't have a ton of power, but he's got a great swing. So we really haven't seen uh, one with all the, the speed and all that kind of stuff uh, this year. This is probably what your Gary Carter is going to look like. So for this is the Expo. So I don't know what he's going to look like on the Mets, uh, to be completely honest with you, unless maybe it is an Expo's one that they release. I have no idea, but he has decent power, decent vision, good fielding, kind of a well-rounded catcher. So you could expect to kind of see that. Mike Schmidt, we have a collection reward. Mike Schmidt, who is, you know, this one just has like the more, he actually has the hitting versus right compared to the other one that doesn't have the hitting versus the left. And he has obviously insane defense. This is like one of the more balanced cards. Could be a time for George Brett. We've this is like a perfect example of a card that has just gone down and down as far as his attributes are concerned. Uh, still 99, but he used to have like in MLB 17, George Brett would have had like 125, 120 his power, which I never see coming back because that's not the type of player George Brett was in any stretch of the imagination. But that's just kind of what happens to the cards. That, like, I don't think Biggio will ever be as good as he is right now, type of deal. Um, but that, that's kind of it does feel like kind of the time for George Brett to possibly get released uh, in that program. Um, we've got a Dawson kind of recently. We got a lower tier bench. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Who am I looking for? Uh, we got a McCovey. You know, it's pretty similar to uh, what the McCovey is this year. Pretty similar. Here's the old school Minoso. Pretty much. Uh, he was a BR reward. Um, still was up there. He's way up there in price because he ended up getting really, really rare. But you guys can see there's a big difference between the buy now and the sell now on that. Um, 99 Andrew Jones might be kind of cool for them to release. They released this at like the very end of last year. I can't remember if it was a program or what it was, but um, they had like a World Series one that was like a 91 early on, and then they ne they released this one like very, very late. So maybe it'd be a good time to release that one uh, a little bit early. Um, let's see. Um, I was looking for, here's Sandberg from last year. Um, it's kind of interesting to see how they compare to this year. Uh, here's Griffey from last year. We got that world series reward Griffey. Uh, hopefully they'll put out like this one soon, but it's not, you know, he just has that like versus left in that vision that he doesn't have in the other one. Um, let's see here. Um, we really haven't seen a, a Ralph Kiner. This kind of feels like a Ralph Kinery type of time, uh, possibly. Um, haven't seen uh, Tom Seaver yet. Uh, he just has a gold in the game right now. Uh, he's a definite possibility. Uh, there's a 99 Eddie Matthews. We obviously have the Evo uh, Eddie Matthews, so I don't know if he will be in. Uh, here's a Jackie from last year. This Jackie from last year is actually exactly like the Jackie we just got out of that program. Someone said that to me in the comments. I think maybe he's got a little bit more contact versus right and left. I'm not sure. Might be the exact same. Could be time for Stan Musial as well. 125, 96, 91. Vision was so important last year, so it seems like more cards have boosted vision. We haven't seen a cow. We really haven't seen a cow. We just got Ernie Banks. We haven't seen a cow like this. Maybe could, could be possibly cow. Now, this was the card I really want to talk about because this is a card that last year was a, it was either, I think it was a World Series reward. So you guys can see it's got like a huge price. Not a lot of people got to use it. 125, 119. Um, I could see this card being a part of the program. Now, do I want it to be a part of the program? Honestly, I don't. This is not a card that I like, but I could see this card being a part of this program. It just feels like, kind of the right time now matt williams is another interesting one that we don't really talk about or think about he was a world series reward i believe uh last year i don't know if it says it doesn't say where they where they uh where they come from uh this year i haven't even thought about this monty Irvin card in a while i wonder if they still got the monty Irvin card um what was this on door like 101.97 so yeah, those are some definite possibilities. Now the cards that I think are the the new legend card, I do believe is gonna be Jim Tomey. I've seen on Twitter, I believe it's from like Illinois is wrong. He's been saying it for a long time that if you go through all the animations in the game on MLB The Show 20, you can see they have like exactly Jim Tomey swing. Like when you press X to do that little like bat waggle, you know, that you can do against the computer. Um, 
they have that exact motion. They have all of that. Uh, I did a video not too long ago about uh, all of the pitcher motions in the game. I went through every single pitcher motion that you would want for like a road of the show pitcher or a pitcher in uh, Diamond Dynasty. And I did find El Duque's uh, motion. I remember seeing it at the time and thinking to myself, man, that's a lot like uh, Orlando Hernandez's uh, uh, motion. You know what I'm saying? And um, sure enough, he, he was in the game. I do feel like it's going to be Jim Tomey is a new legend. I feel like that's going to be the new legend. My boy Pitching Rebel is saying that he predicts it to be Larry Walker. I'd be ecstatic with Larry Walker, too. Um, pretty much a 5 tool player out in right field. Uh, you know, be a, be a solid player to add to. So maybe maybe it'll be Larry Walker. I think it's going to be Jim Tomey, though, personally, just based on that information. Who do you guys think it's going to be? Um, I hope this uh, information helps you out a little bit if you just were kind of uh, interested in like who I think it could possibly be. Uh, I'll go ahead and say, um, I think it's going to be Chris sale. Um, I think it's going to be, uh, I'm going to go with Chris sale and I'll go with, uh, I want to say Rod Carew as well. I'll go with Chris sale. I want to say Rod Carew. Um, maybe I'll say Kenley Jansen. And then also we'll go with, uh, We'll go with uh, Jim Tomey as the new legend that they're going to put in the game. I think he just made the Hall of Fame, correct? So I think they might have his rights as well. Let me know who you guys think is going to be in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out, y'all.